I mean, that's good, I guess. Everybody wants to be Nigerian these days. I don't know why, but <laughs> those of us that are Nigeria, we don't get to enjoy being Nigerian alone. But it's good, you know, everybody's welcome. You know, at the end of the day, um, I mean, Nigeria is a big country. <laughs> we welcome everybody that wants to associate with Nigeria. I think Joshua says he's Nigerian. Deontay Water says he's Nigerian. Joe Joyce says he's Nigerian. And there are a few random people here in the United States that say they're Nigerian. But at the end of the day, we don't see the flag except, you know, except they need something from Nigeria. That's why they realize <laughs> they're Nigerian. But, like but it's, say, not, they it's not about Joshua saying he's Nigerian. He's Nigerian, though. Like, if you look at it. Um, no, he's, he's Nigerian. I know that for a fact. I mean, he's what, um, what, 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 what on the other hand is like, um, he, he traced his his ancestry to Nigeria and to Edo tribe, you know where I'm from. So yeah, all of America traces their ancestry to Nigeria, been a Republic, you know, or oh God, or well, Ghana. So yeah, everybody's Nigerian when they need to be Nigerian, when when they want to be Nigerian, when when it's time to be Nigerian for real, for real, you know, it's kind of everybody kind of keeps quiet, and the real Nigerians step up to the plate. But like I said, it's I'm, I'm happy everybody wants to be Nigerian these days. Well, when I came to America, it wasn't that cool to be Nigerian. You know, we took all the insults and we fought, and now the Bido and Whiskey and Burner and uh, Runtown, they've all made like being Nigerian cool. Everybody's trying to associate. So yeah, they're all welcome. Being African wasn't like that either, right? It was the same, kind yeah, of the same. It was never cool, but now it's cool, so yeah, it's fine. Okay, then no problem. Uh, we have Isioma in the house right here. Isioma? Yeah, lovely, lovely, great interview so far. Enjoying it. I, I must say that um, I, I didn't know that Rafael is an orator. Um, it's quite a good feeling when you see a pugilist that also is an orator. I mean, you're a man of many parts. You played <laughs> soccer, you played basketball, and um, you're a wordsmith in your own right. Yeah. So I'd like to ask, um, Rafael, I'd like to ask, um, what is fight camp like? I mean, those of us who are not boxers can only imagine. We get to see clips, but we don't know the behind the scenes can you take us through as much as you can some of the behind the scenes um every every fight camp really depends on the level of the fight you know for uh, i'm going to start with the level i was before to the level i am now and the level that i'm going so um back in time when i when i had just started boxing obviously um you're coming from the amateurs you're, you're fighting guys that are subpar you know they want to get your feet wet in the fighting game as a professional you know for the first time ever you're fighting without headgear you know your mind is going crazy or oh, what if they blow my teeth what